How to use a cane with a bad knee is the question we'll be answering in this video from Simple Steps Mobility. Hello folks, it's Brian from Simple Steps Mobility. Uh, I'm going to encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos and tips and tricks on how to use canes, walkers, crutches, and other things to help you or your loved one get around your home safely. Today we're going to look at how to use a cane with a bad knee. Now, using a cane is very simple. Uh, if you've looked at any of my other videos, this video is probably going to be very similar to those. Basically, the bottom line is this, is that when you're using a cane, whether it's a standard or straight cane like this, or, um, or, or a quad cane or something like that, you want to use it in the opposite hand of your bad knee. The reason for that is this, is that when we're typically walking, uh, one, the opposite hand goes out. When one leg goes out, the opposite hand goes out. What we want to do is maintain that normal gait cycle as we're walking. When you have a bad knee, uh, what you want is you want the cane to go out at the same time that the, that the bad leg goes out. Because let's just assume that my left knee is the bad knee. When that foot hits the ground, if my, if my knee is unstable, then I run the risk of the knee buckling and me falling. So what we want to do is when that foot hits the ground, we want to have the cane hit the ground at the same time so that I have a little bit more support with the cane. Now some people, like Dr. House or others, will use the cane on the bad side. So let's just assume that, again, my, my left leg is my bad side. If I'm using the cane on, on, on my bad side, what it's going to do is force me to walk unnaturally. Uh, I'm going to use an unnatural gait cycle or a cadence uh, and it's not going to give me the most support and it might cause other problems in, in my body uh, because it's just not a normal motion. So we don't want to use the cane on the same side as the bad knee. What we want to do is use the cane on the opposite side. So it's, again, assuming that my, my left knee is my bad knee, the one that hurts or the one that may give out, I want the cane to go out when my bad leg goes out. When that foot hits the ground, I want to be able to have some support on the cane. A cane is not meant to hold up your body weight. The cane is basically meant to give you a little bit more stability, more balance, so that you're able to continually walk. Okay, so don't think that you have to put all of your weight on the cane in order for it to support you. Basically, you do want to lean on it a little bit, but you don't want to put all of your body weight on it. You want to, you want to basically support your weight with your legs. So again, using the cane in the opposite hand of your bad knee. If, it were, if my right knee was bad, then I would use the cane on my left hand. And the walking would sort of look like this. Some people may have a problem using the cane in their non-dominant hand, but if you have a bad knee, the best thing to do would be to use the cane on the opposite side and maybe just slow down just a little bit, okay? And practice. It will, come, it will become more natural for you if you practice with the cane. So I hope that helps. If you haven't done so, make sure that you subscribe to my new YouTube channel and look for, uh, look for my other videos with more tips and tricks on how to use canes how to use walkers and other medical equipment. Thanks.